Hello friends! Today we're gonna review another beautiful model from Steel Dive. This time I got for you 1979 in three available colors. Here you go, black, green and blue. This is my probably favorite, one of the favorite models from Steel Dive. And there are a few reasons why. First reason, the look. Just, just look at it. I mean, let, let, let me start the watch. Just look at it. It's beautiful. The colors, the shape. Everything, everything matches perfectly. I just love this watch. Probably I'm gonna get one after this video because I really like this model. Okay, so let's go to the main spec. Uh, first of all, this model runs on NH35 movement which is very good in general. Then, the case diameter is only 42.5 millimeters without, without a crown. The case length, however, is 51 millimeters. So you can see that it's kind of, kind of long, even though, even though the, the diameter is only 42, but the length make it bigger. Then the thickness of the watch is 13.2 millimeters, which is relatively thin. It feels really comfortable on the wrist. Then uh, about the weight, the head weight without the strap, without the bracelet is 84.5 grams, which is not very heavy, not really heavy. And the whole watch 97 grams with the leather strap or rubber strap. Um, then this watch available in the with the few options uh, you can get this kind of bracelet then there is another stainless steel bracelet and different colors of rubber straps available as well then let's go to more details um, the total perimeter of this watch is 250 millimeters so if your wrist is bigger uh, bigger than 25 millimeters then or 25 centimeters sorry then probably you cannot wear this watch or you can buy a different strap so in general this watch is very nice and suitable for the small or middle wrists yeah then let's go to more details i think this model deserve to show you to show more details uh, what else we have we have slightly curved sapphire glass as you see just slightly it's not much it's not popping out about the bezel insert i would say the same level as the bezel insert oh no maybe maybe like 0.09 millimeters above the bezel not much and of course we have here um, we have here a coating blue coating it's not really visible but there is coating then the bezel material is ceramic 120 clicks there is no back play no sorry I'm lying there is back play <laughs> There is slight back play, but again, it's a not problem. It's not like you can accidentally rotate the crown, or the, the bezel to the right side. No, you cannot. Okay, only one side rotation, 120 clicks. Then, uh, what else to tell you? Um, the bracelet quality, as every still dive watch, very general, nothing to talk about this much. It is nice for the price, it's not going to be broken, it is comfy to wear, it's easy to adjust, it's very durable, what else? It's good bracelet, it's good bracelet for this price as well. Then at the back cover you can see that this model has how many? 200 meters waterproof, yeah. 
So the minimum range for the steel dive watches is 200 meters and more for waterproof. Let's try to adjust the time. The crown here is very small and when you screw it in, it's really hiding inside the case, which make it even better. I really like it. So you can see the alignment here, perfect. Just everything perfect. Let's try six o'clock. Yes, look. I mean, what, what else can you expect for this price? This is just insane. I wonder, every time I hold they still have watches to make videos. I wonder why would people buy Seiko watches? I mean, why? Why would I pay four times more for the Seiko watch, which would be, I would say, close quality, close to the same quality. Probably Seiko has only better bracelet. That's it. But anyway, even even breast lately still dive improved the bracelet clasp and now it's more solid and right now I still have no reasons to buy Seiko or still that because this is absolutely choice number one and yeah one more feature of this watch um, I want to show you details I'm not sure what is that how they made this but but um, it is not like a polished stainless steel you see it's not very shiny the body of this watch is not shiny it looks like it painted i'm not sure if it's painted or um maybe some other technology i don't know they tell us about this but it is really really nice here let me hold for you three colors you can see clear the best option All of three very very beautiful and just amazingly that this orange hand with white suitable for green blue and black I mean look it suits perfectly okay and right now let me show you let me show you the last part uh, the loom yeah because everyone want to have bright loom why not let me check it again five seconds UV light and you can see this insanely bright loom. In the video, you, it may look like more blue, the indicators, but actually it's bright green, bright green color, and the bezel is blue. Very bright, very beautiful. I mean, just wow, really love this model. So if you are interested in this watch and you wasn't you weren't sure about the color to choose, hopefully after this video you're gonna make the right decision. And if you have any doubts, I really recommend you to get this watch. Um, I don't remember how much it is now on AliExpress, about maybe 150, 160 or 70 dollars. But anyway, I think it absolutely worth the price because the quality of this model, of this particular model, is just amazing. I mean, there is, I cannot say anything bad about this model. There is everything good here. Uh, for some reasons, it's not so popular as, for example, the Captain Villard and others, but this is my favorite model, one of the favorites. Okay, talking too much. Thank for your time. Thank you for watching my videos and see you in the next episodes. Have a great evening, everyone.